Why don't you fill us in about that? So, yeah, in the late 1960s, early 1970s, when a lot more printing of publications was going on, they realized that they had some issues of standardization. There was no real standard. So originally they created SWAP. Um, and I have listed here what that stands for. Uh, but basically what they did is they have this general target that you know everybody that's in the printing industry or people that are buying print can agree upon so that hopefully when you're designing on your computer and your ICC swap profile on there is going to render an image on the computer that is similar to what you would see in nature with those uh, CMYK or RGB values. Mm -hmm. uh, RGB being on the computer and CMYK for print. So uh, these standards have been created to make sure that everybody can agree upon a basic standard. That way, if somebody designs something and you go to print it and they say, well, this doesn't look like how it should, it kind of protects a printer where they could then say, well, we print to this standard, our machines are calibrated, and based on the values you have for the cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, which is the CMYK, uh, this is how, you know, this uh, Graco 7 standard is telling us how to print or the swap. So, you know, in 1974 is when they first made swap, S-W-O-P. And that has morphed into what we call today uh, G7.